Hey everybody, what's up? This is Ryan. I've got one more quick tutorial um, on this project I'm working on. And I uh, just wanted to walk you through it because I figured out an awesome way to do this. Hopefully you, uh, maybe if you have the same kind of a need, you can, you can use this. So basically, um, last year we had fewer logos. Um, if you watched my other video on the, the uh, segmented polygon, you know that. Um, so anyway, I need to add the new logos into this space. This is going to be the flyer uh, that goes out announcing the, um, announcing the event. Um, but I need to have them all nicely organized in, this, in, in a grid area, a grid space, um, so that each of the logo has you know, roughly the same size and the same presence so that there's you know not any that are getting more you know more billing even though some may have donated more or whatever so um, just to organize it uh, I'm gonna do a grid and uh, this is the the absolute best way that I figured out how to do this so um, first thing uh, you want the grid rectangular grid tool which is over there on the uh, the line segment tool uh, actually if it it's over there, if you're watching me. <laughs> so uh, it's down here, it's the rectangular grid tool. You just click on that. So I'm going to drag a grid, and as you can see, it's gonna give me too many, uh, too many cells here. So let me, let me drag it to the right size. I need four, no, I need 10 and a half by, five and three quarters because I have some things that are going to go on the bottom but I don't have them in there on this layer so four and a half or excuse me ten and a half by five and three quarters right there but I want to have fewer I need fewer columns that makes four columns and one two three four five six so one two three four five six all right so I'll let go there and then I have my grid I'm gonna hit D so I can get the default colors white fill with the black stroke and the reason I'm gonna do this is uh, you'll see um, so basically I have now this grid let's turn off the guides because I don't need them at this point I think I'm gonna bump that down just a little bit so it's not under that sponsor shadow okay so once you have that all filled with the default colors uh, then go ahead and go shift M we're gonna go to the the shape builder tool and so shift M and so I'm going to click in each individual cell and you're probably thinking why in the world would you want to do that well when you do that it creates a group of individual shapes so that means I can come back later which is right now and I can ungroup that I'll just right click and ungroup so if I click off on the artboard I can click any one of these and that will be its own separate object so let's start with the first corner whoops didn't mean to double click there just one and I will take that fill off and I will click shift or hold shift and click on this first logo and then I will click, while both are selected, I will click on my square, or my, my cell, the, the rectangle here. And I'm going to do align horizontal center and horizontal align, or a vertical align center. So now that should put that logo directly in the center of that cell. So I can click off of that and I'll go to the next one, remove the background, click the next logo holding shift, and I'll click that square and just go through this process and you will align each individual logo to the um, to the cell that we just created and then I can work with the you know sizing and, and aligning if, if things need to be uh, if they're askew or anything like that I can do all that later so I'm going to quickly go through this I'll just leave it running while I do and uh, catch up on the end and show you how it looks. So got that one. Oops. 
Come to the next Okay, so there it is. Everything is all perfectly aligned and in, the, in its own centered in its own cell. So now all I need to do is go back and individually just uh, just resize, holding Shift and Alt or Option to get things so that they fit within those within those cells. I may actually end up moving it down a little bit. Um, once I figure out uh, where this bottom information needs to go um, so that I have room for them without getting the, the shadow effect on that or I may move that up. Anyway, awesome. Thanks guys. Uh, we'll catch you next time.